Thanks for letting me film a uh, workout for you guys, Laura and Mary. No and, problem. And in Leeds, first time to Leeds for me. Uh, yeah, super excited to be out here. What's on the on the plan today for the workout? So we've got um, some tempo followed by a classic Steve Fartlek. Steve Cram, coach. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Steve coaches us both. Um, yep. We've done lots of these fartleks before, so yeah. should be a good workout. Do you want to talk through what we're doing, Mary? Yeah, sure. We're you you did tell yeah, me. Yeah, you can tell me. Tell you Matt what we're getting up to today. <laughs> good luck. You told me off camera and I got lost in the, in the yeah. middle of it, but let's try. We're doing eight minutes, yeah. uh, two minutes recovery, then two times three minutes with two minutes recovery, mm -hmm. then two times two minutes, mm -hmm. two minutes recovery, two times 90 seconds, yeah. With 90 seconds recovery, two times one minute with 90 second recovery. Okay. Then we have four times 45 seconds with one minute recovery, and then four times 30 seconds with 45 seconds recovery. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of a lot of intervals. Yeah. Lots to remember. Yeah. Lots to remember. But have you written it down in your hand or are you, are you no, all... I have set them in my watch. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mary's yeah. organised, she sets the workout <laughs> yeah, in clearly. her watch so we don't, yeah. have to rem don't have to remember it but yeah. yeah. We like doing this kind of part that we do lots of this. Yeah. And it's it's a nice fun way to get some really good hard work in at a good pace. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah. broken up. Yeah. Um and this this housing estate loop is the perfect location for it because it's got 1200 meters round yeah. and it's you know a couple of slight inclines good flat fast sections yeah. and it really mixes it up rather than running in a straight line yeah, yeah, yeah. down the canal or something yeah okay it goes by fast yeah. Yeah. yeah goes by pretty quick okay. and joining us is Chris Cooper we'll not. catch up with him soon <laughs> you should run uh -uh. <laughs> um, is there any pace Prescri uh, prescribe for this or is it just purely on effort how does it work with the uh, with the effort this is more about kind of effort um, you know the eight minute tempo at the start is a sort of a steady state tempo effort and then throughout the fartlek we just generally will pick up the pace as the intervals get shorter um, but we'll probably cover a good eight or so miles within that fartlek so it's just a good block at pace, especially on this loop with the twists and turns and the slight inclines. Okay. It's all about hard work rather than solely focusing on the watch. Yep. That sounds like a very classic 80s UK coaching style. I, uh, I, I used to, I, I was coached by Steve Ovec for a couple of years, about 10 years ago, and he's very much on effort and not so much on looking at the, the paces. But uh, is Steve Cram similar in that regard? Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, I also like uh, when I'm doing fire takes, I like more yeah. to focus on the effort than the, yeah. than the pace because there's no way you would do the same pace. For example, this is downhill, yeah. and then there's an uphill. Yeah. The pace is more bit different. Yeah. I just like to walk it's, hard. it's difficult to run a certain pace in this loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we always end up running fairly quick. Yeah. Um, and it's a type of workout that we've done a lot together, and we know when we're working hard, yeah. and we know this loop well. We know roughly where we're going to get in this workout, and we're going to take a left. Okay. We'll do a slightly different warm-up loop. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so you were saying just then that you guys just recently started training together, somewhat recently, anyway. Yeah. So back yeah. in 2020, when Mary was over here, yeah, we sort of got to know each other then. Yep. Um, but it wasn't until sort of January 21 this year that we started training, like pretty much every day together. Yep. And we quickly realised it was quite strange how suited we were to each other despite me sort of being the 5k background mm. and Mary being the marathon yeah. a lot of our sort of strengths were aligning together it just worked well didn't it Mary? Yeah, yeah it, it did help me a lot like in preparation for Boston yeah. I got so fit running with her because of the fast stuff I was doing with her yeah, so, yeah. yeah. that's interesting that the 5k and the marathon work sort of align like yeah it depends on the on the uh, coaching philosophy I guess but Steve makes it work it sounds like yeah. yeah, it just sort of worked well, and then, you know, like Steve started coaching Mary sort of last, earlier this year as well, and it just, I don't know, it just fitted. Yep. We both like doing sort of these big fartleks and tempos, and sort of my strength in this 
been yep. sort of helped Mary and then Mary's strength being endurance and tempo was like massive for me. Yep. Yeah Mary you just placed uh oh we've got some cars you just placed third at Boston. Yeah. Happy with the run obviously? That's so hot there. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tough year without races. Yep. And like like what I said when we met in class in 2020, I was Egypt. So we didn't train much. Yeah. So coming from Egypt and being able to run a good marathon and a PB in the 10K are in June. Yep. That's good for me. What was the 10K in June? I, I, I wasn't, I didn't know, I didn't see that race, the result. Yeah, I was training with Rora. Okay. With the, with the spa stuff and things, so I decided maybe I should do a 10K, as yep. I was not training for marathon then. Yep. I did a 10K in Middlesbrough. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did 30, 50. 30, 50. Good. Yeah. Oof, yeah, right. That's good for me. That's good. Rory yeah. Leonard. Yeah. It was actually you across this weekend. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> a talented young guy from the northeast. Actually, like pace Mary that yeah, day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's so after that 10k, then I, that's when I flew to Kenya. Yeah. For the Boston marathon training. Yeah. Yeah, I was very happy with the, with the Boston performance. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like I told you, it was that just last year? No. Yeah. Early this year when you left for border, that's when I trained alone. The first time. Yeah, the first time you were properly alone. You spent a bit of time training in Boulder, you said, Laura. Yeah, I've, sp yeah. I've um, sort of spent the last two, three summers training in Boulder. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably my favourite altitude location or place to train mm. outside the UK and the world, I'd say. Yeah, okay. Just the quality of trails and the environment, and yeah. it's almost a home from home. Yeah. There's so many runners there, and yeah, I've got some good um, family friends there, and it's yeah. just, it's a really special place to train. Yeah, awesome. One of the most famous, well maybe the most famous, running photographer in the world. Is that him? Where is he? I think he's over there. <laughs> he's over there. Dumb Burlington Island. Good to, have you on, good, to have, uh, good to have you on the camera, man. Nice yeah, nice yeah. to be in your hometown. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. How's Mary doing? I mean, we just obviously caught up, but um, yeah, what's coming up for her? Uh, next year's to be announced, so we've got races pending, but we can't actually announce them yet. But I think she's just shaking the legs out at the minute. Yeah. Go back to Kenya in January and probably train for, for spring, so... Big fan of your stuff in Kenya Thanks, on Instagram. And, yeah, yeah, I'm hoping we can get start going back again, you know, like with the red list and stuff yeah. from the UK. So. Yeah. I'm having to churn. I'm having to recycle content constantly yeah. for the last couple. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So the next topic that everyone likes to hear about is the shoes and the gear. So let's let's hear it. Well, this what is. What are you running in? What so do you like to run in? This is going to be an episode yeah. of Pegasus Next Percent. Okay. So you'll have seen me this morning, I just arrived from a house, yeah. dressed, yeah. this is me, good to go. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to take off my jacket because it's a little bit warmer than I thought, but um, yeah, Mary will put an extra sense on and I'll be here in uh, my Pegasus 36 that I'm still in. Awesome. And for like, for me... 36? That's, yeah. that's not this... That, no, we're, we're here at 38 already, yeah, yeah. but uh, Pegasus 36 is like one of my favourite models. Okay. And Traditionally for me, for like fart leg and road workouts, like I've always tended just to prefer to stick in like a mileage shoe. Because yeah. the Pegasus to me, they don't feel like too heavy or clumpy. They're like, I feel fast enough in, and then, yeah, we can run well under five minute mile pace and I'm, I'm in Pegasus and I'm comfortable. Mm. Um, I try not to wear sort of like too light a shoe or too um, sort of like next percents in all my workouts. I think now and again, it's nice just to uh, protect yourself a little bit and sort of run in just a classic mileage shoe. Yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be in today. Okay, the whole workout in there. Whole workout, yeah, the whole time. Yep. Won't change up at all. Um, this is, you know, a big volume sort of fartlet workout. Yes, we're running quicker at the end for shorter reps, but yeah, I'll be able to run quick enough in the pegs. Yeah, okay. And yeah, see if I can keep up with Mary in her next percents. Right, right. When do you pull, do you ever pull out the next percents for workouts? Um, if I'm going to do a road race, I'd probably wear them maybe like a workout before just to sort of get a feel for them. Right. I like to keep them special and keep them for ready for racing, to be honest. Um, don't like to get used to running the carbon shoes all the time time um, I think sometimes like sort of my mechanics and the way I like to run I'm not suited to wearing them all the time especially the shoes uh, I love training in like the dragonflies come the summer yeah. uh, when I'm racing mm. those shoes and then on the track I tr pretty much stick to like streaks or like a splat mm. rather than wearing sort of next sense so sort of, like a, a streak racing flat with oh, a spike plate oh, attached yeah. that's my sort of preferred for doing all my track workouts on i thought you meant splat was like a type of nutty shoot uh, no no, 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 no just, right. gotcha, yeah. just yeah just yeah, a splat yeah, yeah. spike plate on yeah, uh, yeah. yeah and that's kind of what i pretty much wear year round cool 
Okay. In terms of a few drills before we get started. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's just a just... few light drills, a yeah. few light strides. Um, yeah. Then we'll get into the workout. Sweet. Uh, cool. Nice and relaxed. Cool. Progression run on Tuesday. And you were in. Uh... Progression run. Yeah. That's not like fast. But Sweet. I was wearing my Romero. I don't like the Pegasus. You don't like the Pegasus. I don't like that. I thought Pegasus. everyone likes Pegasus. No, not me. No. I you like, like, you like, the like the softness of the Romero. Yeah, yeah. I like the softness of the Romero. Hmm. Next percent out today, though. I'm an next percent person. Mm. So. Have you tried yeah. the Alpha Fly? No, 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 no. no. I have not. Just looking at them <laughs> makes me not want to try. Them. Yeah. Yeah. They look like little. Uh, I don't even know. Like, very. They're quite clunky, I think. But yeah. I, I think uh, next percent most people are a fan of. Fitness. Yeah. How much time did you take off after Boston? Oh, like three weeks. Three weeks totally off? Yeah. Okay. So. This is my, like, my dad's, my dad, yeah, this is my dad's yeah. big session, yeah? Well my dad fart trick, so. Yeah, okay. Just taking it easy. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm coughing as butter is. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know at the end. But yeah, we're going to jog up. We start at the primary school. Every little helps. The downhill gets a bit of speed. Yep. Although that's a bad idea because we always get carried away and then Steve's like, you went too fast. <laughs> so yeah, we will crack on. So we've got, is this Beth Potter coming back around? No. Uh, yeah. Not now, but no. she was here before. Was here. So yeah. Beth trains and leads. Yeah, she um, ran the 5K. Yeah, was that, that really fast 5K at everything? podium. Sorry? Did that end up being uh, No, unfortunately not. I think just think because like there's obviously no anti-doping and... Um, World, is it World Athletics Certified Course? Yeah, that's what I read. Uh, yeah. But obviously super fast. Um, yeah. And she had a great like triathlon season. Yeah. And yeah, like me and Mary have trained with her in the past. So like, yeah, yeah. just one of Leeds' as many great endurance athletes that are here at the moment. I've been riding around here for an hour and I've seen all these Olympians and Yeah, and, obviously, and you, this. <laughs> obviously you went this morning with Phil, Phil. Sessman in yeah. York. And like, yeah, and obviously Alex Bell uh, is at Eurocross this weekend. Yeah. That's her uh, partner, Josh, there. Yeah who's taken the session because the coach Andy's away. So yeah, we've got a really great group of athletes here in Leeds at the moment, yeah, um, which is really exciting. Yeah, totally. Be on the outside of us, that'll be better yeah, for us. Yeah, sure. So I'll we're sit. not taking you out on the bends. Yeah, I'll see the outside. You don't mind where you are. No, no, no. <laughs> just, I'll, I'll always be out of your way. Until you, until you get used to the loop, don't yeah. worry. We just sort of fly around the place. Yeah, no worries. And honestly, we're just non-stop on the same loop. Yeah, sure. No worries. <laughs> you rode across and we're not bothered. Yeah, sure. Right, have you got the watch? I'll go yeah. on you, but I've got my watch going as well. I'm <laughs> ready. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I guess that's why you say Yeah. You take a because I I had your moving on your I told him. <laughs> I promise I won't ask questions when it gets faster, but any heart rate monitors or anything today? Just wrist heart rate. Okay. And to be honest, I don't really run to heart rate at sea level. Yeah. Minutes done. Yeah. Now dropping down to some threes. Yeah. Two yeah. by three. Two by two. Yeah. Two by nine. Two by sixty. Yeah. So and the pace sprints we, at the end. We covered exactly two laps, almost of twelve hundred. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. It was. Uh, I think it's like twelve hundred and eighty yeah. meters. Yeah. One of the guys, Josh Schofield. Like he got a trundle wheel around here. Oh yeah. One year. Yeah. So we know the accuracy of it. Yeah. So, Sometimes I told not to get carried away yeah. on the A. But so I, I like to keep a stable pace. Yeah, it was a good pace. Because then if you land well in the A, you obviously be yeah. well yeah. in the short run. If we started too easy, yeah, I don't, I don't the whole workout's too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And what's the recovery now after the eight? Sorry, there's so two many. Minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Laura, I like the way you just left all of that stuff to uh, to Mary to remember. Mary's been on her watch and it's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
What's with this one? It's not so complicated. We can remember this one. Yeah, okay. Steve sometimes has given us workouts where it is hard to remember, and I've seen myself just cut recovery to keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. And it, yeah. You can imagine the marathon one when I get this kind of session, <laughs> and it's like 20k. It's crazy, I can't remember it. <laughs> but this is why we love fart leg, because yeah. it's varied and it's mixed, and it's yeah. just yeah, really, it's hard effort, that's what's fun about it. Yeah. It's not boring. Second camera. You never do this. So that it is not here. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said if he dies, he's happy to stride this way. Okay. <laughs> Poor Ethan, the pressure. Yeah, and he's coming out to an intersection here. We're going to look for cars too. <laughs> 15 seconds. Really nice. All the residents know the runners. Yeah. You often get supported, and yeah. I've been offered in the summer bottles of water, and yeah, that's awesome. Lots yeah. of kids go to the primary school. Yeah. Their parents run, yeah. and in lockdown there's a competition to find a picture that I posted yeah. on my social media, yeah. the local running group, <laughs> and yeah, the kids and the families around here are generally supportive of the runners going. Going around fast. <laughs> Almost. 
See this hill? That yeah. isn't a hill. Yeah. It's a hill. It's definitely a hill. <laughs> a hill I, mean, I can hill. find it. I can find it a little bit tough even riding up it. So it's yeah. It's very deceptive. Yeah. It's easy to see why you love the loop. Yeah. Yeah. The more the reps go by, yeah. the variation. Yeah. It really is perfect, and like what you said in the warm up, you can never really see very far ahead too. No. Yeah, yeah, so well. it's. <laughs> I like it. That would. Yeah. We just know this. The hill will take about a minute, yep. and we know around the bend there's a tough section. Back to the start, you get a rest by slightly down. Yep. Gives you everything. Yep. Hilly enough for it to be challenging, but not ridiculous. Yeah, and it allows good pace though. Yeah. We won't show the boss the video. <laughs> us talking between the between the efforts. <laughs> he might make it harder next week. A minute coming up. Four by forty five. Yep. Four by thirty to finish. Yep. Cool. So far so good? Yeah. Yeah. Good, get them past reach. Each each block. Yep. compare paces yeah. yeah yeah exactly especially the short reps towards the end because oh, yeah. Yeah. one of them's either more down or up yeah. so that's where mary's mentality which i've learned a lot from comes into play of yeah. fart leg about the hard work yeah. and the effort rather than pace like a track would be yeah yeah it's not the same like that was really really pissed yeah my question in the beginning was a little, little, little bit silly now that i've done the loop a few times there's no, there's no use in focusing on pace here. No. It's just terrain. That's why we it. like it. Well, it's it's yeah. nice sometimes yeah. to check the pace. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't want to go too slow then. Yeah. But you don't have to really focus on that. Yeah, for sure. Like how fast you're running. there was an example of the support you get yeah running around here <laughs> i missed that i didn't put it on camera but she said you must be getting tired now <laughs> yeah she's shocked to see us still going like the gentleman at the start watched us <laughs> on thursday do eight miles around here and they're back again yeah. and that's nice you get that support You said before sometimes people have come out and given you waters. Is that, did you say that? Sorry? Did you say that people have given you like bottled yeah, water? Yeah, this house here. Yeah. The lady 
one summer when it was 30 degrees off of me a bottle of water because <laughs> I was so tired so and red. <laughs> Get tired, you can just stop talking. I'm the same, it's alright. <laughs> We are yeah. the faster we run, yeah. and we stay relaxed by chatting. <laughs> Some people just can't, they can't breathe. <laughs> Burnt it off. Same up you just had a bit of a cough, uh, chest infection last week, which is the... I just had a chesty oh. cough yeah, yeah. last week, and as I've got asthma, yeah. it's just a cough that can linger. Yeah. So, yeah, when I'm coughing during workouts, it's just yeah. that irritation yeah. on my chest. Yeah. But thankfully, I can breathe now. Yeah. Oh, a bit of a flat part than the hill. It's going to be all uphill this one, but yeah, most of it anyway. hey, we've just had a downhill one. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> Don't get too lazy. Keep the speed. From, yeah, from the rock stuff. Nice gradual down here to finish. See the boss bike so far.
total was 50 minutes. That's okay. Yeah, yeah 50 minutes. Eight miles. Nice. Good guess that was, wasn't it? Yeah. This is Steve. He gives you 9k the first walk up. Second 10. It goes every time he gets like 1k on yeah. top of him. He just adds a little bit more each time. Yeah. <laughs> and before you know it, eight miles later. <laughs> I like this fart trick so much. Before, you know, before I started training with Steve. Yeah. We used to do this fart tricks in Kenya, like two one, <coughs> maybe two one times twenty. Yeah. yeah three two. Classic. Bit monotonous, aren't they? Yeah, it's boring. Yeah. Sometimes you get boring and you get tired. Definitely, definitely very effective, but it's it's a bit. Monotonous, yeah, but yeah. Uh, for me, I think yeah. it was so boring sometimes. Yeah. That was the first thing you said to me when we yeah. started training together. Yeah, yeah. She goes. Steve's fart legs are really fun. I love them, it's yeah. fun, yeah? you never yeah. get bored. Yeah. And because the space keeps changing, <coughs> that's, and the I like the that. Keep changing duration, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the fart legs on the roads, they're never exactly the same and you can never compare them workout to workout because on a road circuit like this you start each interval at different points yeah. and I think that's the beauty. When we're in this base building phase when Mary's getting fit obviously after running Boston yeah. and I'm getting fit after a year when I've had some injuries and troubles myself it's it's nice that you can get the work and you really surprise yourself with how fast you've run yeah we were running by the end there like under three minute k pace yeah. which you know yeah. that's that's good going it's like k pace really yeah yeah pretty close yeah. <coughs> now coffee if you need if you if you don't want to come out for lunch coffee wants to stay indoors with you. Yeah, we'll go for lunch after this. Okay. So, we're not you up to, but you're welcome. Oh, he says, Dad, can we go bowling instead? Bowling <laughs> instead of lunch? Yeah. Well, I don't think Laura wants to go tempting bowling. I don't say never. <laughs> I'm not very good at bowling. The last time I went, I was shocking. Well, it's Mary Nana. I've never, never done, done it before. So. Oh, you'd love it. You haven't done it before? I've never done it before. Oh, we've got to go then. <laughs> so, Chris, you... Uh, I'm, you a, I'm a tired, yeah, I'm not. No, 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 I was about to ask uh, when you're going out to Kenya next. I know you briefly mentioned before that the restrictions are tight, but um, yeah, I mean, there's there's not a lot of photography better than yours coming out of that place. Uh, well, in general as well, but are you heading back anytime soon? Well, Mary goes back in January, yeah. so maybe. But we have the kids, so yeah. uh, I'd like to. Yeah. You were so saying I, these are the workouts that... Yeah, these workouts really get me fit, and running these with Mary yeah. when... Obviously being a 225 marathon runner is massive. Yeah. But like just six months ago on the track, we were doing speed work. Yeah. And Steve got us to do a 300 at the end of a 8K workout. And what did you run, Mary? This is Mary saying she's got no speed. <laughs> I did 45. She ran 45. 45? Okay. So I ran a 43 and Mary goes, there's no way I can do this. That's really quick. Next wow. thing you know, yeah, 45 seconds. Huh. So. We really help that's each other's strengths and weaknesses. For those that are not doing the math, that's 2.30 per kilometre or 4.45? Four, no, 4.48 per mile. 60 seconds for 60 seconds for lap, yeah, yeah. It's quick. It's, <laughs> for a marathoner, that's fast. Yeah. I still say Mary could run a fast 5k yeah. on the on the track. Well, 30, 50, 10k, I did, yeah. I was just, uh, I was for marathon, I remember, I said Steve some walkers. I'd be like, I think we need to get in a 1500 meter less. Yeah. You are flying. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having me out there. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming along. We're good. Yeah, so I was going to round up the video, but we started talking more about training, so it's back on. <laughs> so uh, you log a little bit on Strava, bits and pieces, but yeah, let's hear a bit more about the uh, the week, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really one to use Strava too much. I more got it, to be honest, in lockdown to find new routes in my area to vary training. Oh, yeah, 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 that's one way to use But yeah, Steve's philosophy is very much just simple basics to be honest yeah. done really well so doing the fart legs like we've done today good steady pace mileage no real junk mileage within the week good progression runs good tempos and yeah good quality track work and when we're on the track yeah and yeah the most important thing for steve as well is when he puts us on the track yeah as he always says it's making sure that you're running at the right pace on the track yeah not just doing junk miles on the track yeah we hit a good pace on the road then he says, right, you're ready for the track. And it's making sure when we're on the track, we're able to run around that 5K pace yep. for good volume. Um, but that's, you know, I really enjoy that variety in my training. Yeah. It's not strict and rigid every single week to track Tuesday. There's a bit of um, option in there. So me and Mary can mix it up a little bit, which keeps it fresh for us. Yeah. 
Mary, do you do you, so? You don't do the exact same training. It's just overlapped a little bit. Sorry. You, you overlap just a little bit with Laura, or is it all the same? No, what I'm here usually do what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I think it varies yeah, because it? I know it's not like I'm focused. I haven't yet like yeah. started the full marathon training. So it's, for me, I think that do, doing this now, the shorter stuff, is good for me. Yeah. So outside of the specific marathon period, you do pretty similar yeah, stuff. So yeah. So when I start like the marathon training. Like proper, which would be general, then I'll start. Yeah, cool. Change. It's usually the same. Like cool. Yeah, base is the base same, but like this same. time the plan is the same. Yeah. But then I'll do more. Yeah. For example, this... I still do track on Tuesday, tempo, and then fatigue on that on yeah. Saturday, and long run on Sunday. But then it'll be more. Like more mileage and more stuff. Because this is like this time of year is like 10k half marathon work, yeah, 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 base yeah. work. And then when I start to do the 5k specific stuff and Mary starts to go to the marathon, Steve will alter it a little bit then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's yeah. nice we can still do some runs and some workouts yeah. together. Yeah. But it might just be that I have a little bit of quicker stuff at the end or Mary has to do a little bit more volume as well. Yeah, cool. but that for now, like what we are doing is good for us both. So as I'm coming back from yeah. Alaska, from Boston, and she's coming back from Italy, so. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go have lunch. Okay. <laughs>